Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. What's up? My name is Lisa. Definitely make sure you subscribe. So I'm actually filming this the day after I film this video because I totally forgot to film an intro. But I have a fall wardrobe essentials video for you guys today. I will be leaving links to all the pieces that I'm showing in this video down below. So make sure to go check that out. I'll also try to leave sizing down there for whatever I can. <laughs> but it's a long one so go get yourself a snack get something to drink and let's just go ahead and get into it so the first um category starting out with is loungewear activewear i don't work out anymore i haven't worked out in months but i love wearing loungewear or workout sets um on days that i'm just doing like a lot of admin work for like my job or i'm doing school work or i'm just running around doing errands i want to wear something that's nice to move in and very comfortable um, and i'm actually partnering with aloe yoga on this video so for the loungewear activewear section of this video i'm going to be showing two of their sets that i absolutely love um, i'm wearing the first one right now so this is a super basic set basically just has a black sports bra which says aloe on it and then these leggings Whew. oh my god you guys these leggings are so beautiful um, they're basically just high-waisted black leggings. What I love about these is that they don't have the fabric that most like workout leggings have. These are a bit more cottony and they're actually really nice and thick. Um, they're not see-through. So these leggings are perfect just to wear like on the daily as well. You don't necessarily have to work out in them. They are a little bit long on me. So I just cuff them right here, um, which is like fine. You can barely notice. But let me take off my zip up this is what it looks like and um, i also really like that this sports bra the specific one isn't too tight and it doesn't like fully just like make you lose your shape um obviously if you're gonna work out you might need a little bit more support but just for like every day this is like perfect and i'm gonna go ahead and show you another set that i got from them which has a different top and it's more of like a brighter color um for if you want to add some more color into your wardrobe so this is the second set um it's definitely more of a set i would actually wear to the gym um especially because of the back let me show you that some beautiful detailing right here i think this color is so beautiful it looks really nice on my skin and i feel like this would be flattering on literally everyone i would wear this with probably like a hoodie on top or even just like draped over my shoulders um for whenever i get cold i think that's a cute look just with some sneakers and it can really just so comfortable but i feel like what sold me on this is the fit of the tank top is kind of like you know the tanks you've been seeing everywhere but then once you look at the back it just has this beautiful detailing and i also just think it looks very flattering on my body like what waist what waist honey so i'm wearing everything in an extra small and i am 160 centimeters some other great things about aloe yoga is that they're ethical and sustainable and they're 100 sweatshop free i don't usually pay attention to these things but i do really appreciate it when i get to work with brands that focus on this because obviously it's better for our planet and for the people that are creating our clothes um, and i do in the future want to focus more on sustainability and stuff like that so it's always great to work with brands like this and i really really love all the pieces so i will leave all the product links down below like i will be doing in this whole video and thank you to Ali yoga for partnering with me on this video i am now going to head on to tops so i'm going to show you a couple of tops i have to say i don't have too many um i've more focused on like blazers and dresses and like more like layering pieces um because i feel like once winter really hits that's when i'm really gonna look into knitwear and hoodies because right now sometimes it's still a little bit too warm okay so i changed my camera angle a little bit to show you the tops um this is the first one so i've had this i think i got this in like august so it's still summer but this is a top i love wearing it's from bershka and it ties in the back it's definitely like a thicker ripped fabric, um, obviously white, kind of like a polo fit, but in a V, not sure what you would call that. Obviously it's cropped, I love crop tops, and I especially love long sleeve crop tops because I love wearing this with either jeans, sweatpants, skirts, other types of pants. Like I feel like tops like these are very versatile and um, they're long sleeve so they're not as cold as like a regular cropped tank. 
Um, and I just think it's really flattering. I love how this looks on me. It shows up my tattoo. And I kind of want this in like every color, but I don't wish it then because it's the only thing I'll wear. <laughs> so continuing on with long sleeve crop tops, I also think that these cropped cardigans are a huge staple. I have these in a couple of colors, but instead to show you black. Um, these are from YesStyle. I their crop cardigans are so good. The quality is so nice. Um, and you can obviously wear this open with like a tank top underneath to do like layering But I love just kind of wearing them like this um, having a couple buttons open and I think it's really pretty. You have to watch out when you lift up your arms <laughs> But um, obviously wear a bra underneath and you can also wear these open you can wear them over your shoulders So they're very versatile, but That's staple Something I've also been obsessed with for fall is anything brown, especially this like chocolatey brown color. Oh, so beautiful. Um, this is a polo top from Zara, super inexpensive, and I just absolutely love this color. Um, again, this is great for layering. Like I could wear like a blazer on top of this with some jeans or some white like pants or something, and it's an outfit. Um, sometimes I tuck it into my bra to make it even more cropped, you could even cut it. Um, if this was long sleeve, oh my god, that would be amazing. I kind of need to find something like this in a long sleeve. That would be really good. Um, I think polo tops in general are just like super flattering, especially when they're like cropped and fitted. Um, but this color is just Regina. I'm sorry if it's a little overexposed. Maybe that's better. I don't know. I'm working with like one side that's like super bright from my windows and then one side that's kind of darker. But it's about the clothes, so yeah love this another color i've been obsessed with is green so this is a pink guy sweatshirt um their sweatshirts in general are just really great quality i have them in a couple of different colors also have their hoodies um so these are my you know go-to's for this fall and winter also the other colors i have obviously but i'm not going to show you every color i've been loving brown and green and um they just make super pretty colors so if you want to splurge on some like sweatpants, hoodies, sweaters, stuff like that, go check them out. Um, yeah, just this. Sometimes I fully tuck it into my bra to make it cropped and it's kind of like oversized. Sometimes I just wear it down, I wear leggings, um, obviously very versatile. And yeah, the specific one is just like so beautiful. Okay, I hope the lighting's kind of good, but I'm gonna put you guys back again because I wanted to show you my jeans now. Wait, let me put on shoes. Okay, that's better. So, um, the first pair I'm showing you, obviously I have two jean collections on my channel. I have a lot of jeans. I'll link it down below for you to check out. But specifically for fall, I was still looking for kind of like a darker pair of jeans. So I picked these up from weekday. They're so beautiful. I have these in a lighter wash and I've been wearing those so much over the past couple of months. Um, so I needed to get these in a darker wash. But these are their school jeans. A little big on the waist after I wear it for a day, but that's like totally fine. Um, it has like an asymmetrical waist thingy button, my favorite. And these are long on me, which is perfect. Like I said, I'm 160 centimeters. I will put my sizing down below, like what I got these in. Pretty sure it's a 24, 32, um, which is the longest length they come in, I think. So if you're taller than me, they're going to be a bit shorter. But in general, like these are very long, so like you'll be fine so yeah this is the first pair of jeans i'm gonna wear these a lot i just think for fall it's like any jeans work but i feel like that a wash like this just is very fall so so next up i have a brown pair of jeans like i said obsessed with brown and these from monkey are like the most beautiful wash ever so they're kind of like a white leg they're longer um this is how they fit on me like it's gonna fit different on everyone because i have a smaller waist and then my legs are like a bit curvier i guess compared to the rest of my body so um if you have like very skinny legs they're gonna sit more loose on you which is also really cute um but yeah i just have these in i think a size 25 they fit my waist really well i don't mean you look flat almost that's fine i just think these are so beautiful and these are amazing for fall and I can't wait to wear these all the time. Um, when I first wore these, they were kind of tight and uncomfortable, but after you kind of wear them in, which is with a lot of jeans that are like 100% cotton, um, they get more comfortable and they kind of start shaping to your body. And then when you wash them, they're like super tight again. I feel like everyone needs these. And Monkey also is quite affordable with their jeans, so perfect. So 
next up we have these kind of like coated almost faux leather pants um, I'm still looking for the perfect leather or faux leather pants. These aren't necessarily thags, they're a bit more like vinyl looking. Um, they're also too big on the waist for me, so I need to get these tailored so they'll look more like this, I guess. More tight around the waist. But these are from Weekday and they're really beautiful. They're very affordable and like a more... I guess, yeah, I guess like affordable option. Um, and I think they're really pretty. They're a bit long on me, which I obviously love. That's like my favorite thing now. I don't like cropped pants or jeans anymore. I kind of really wanted to show like a good pair of leather or faux leather pants, but I haven't found them yet. If you have a good pair, let me know down below. But these are kind of more like vinyl or coated, and I still think these are really, really cool for fall. Um, it's just different than your like average black jeans. I only have black jeans like fully black because i just can't seem to find a really good one um but i think this is like a great alternative and it's just more fun and like funky <laughs> i don't know but these are really pretty i got a lot of questions about them on my instagram i hope they're still available because i think last time i checked they were sold out so i'm sure they'll restock though okay so next up are these cream pans our cream jeans. I love how I just said I don't like cropped pants or jeans anymore. These are that, <laughs> but these are the only ones I can tolerate. Um, I wanted to put these in. I've had these for a while, but I love the, the combination of cream with brown. I just think the contrast is so beautiful. So I had to put these in because I think this will look really cool with anything brown. <laughs> and then some black boots or something, right? Even some white sneakers. I just think it's so beautiful. Um, yeah. I don't know, I have to put these in. These are in my jeans collection as well. I show these like all the time. These are like the most comfortable jeans I own probably. Like if I want to go out and I want to look cute and I want to wear jeans but I want to be comfortable, <laughs> damn, then I wear these because these are just so beautiful and flattering. And okay, so another staple for fall is white leg pants or trousers. So these specific ones are from Fuchsia Shaw. She makes the best white leg like shirt sets it comes with like a shirt and then pants. Um, I don't think I have the shirt for this one, but I have um, two other colors of this and then one of the shirts. And they're just beautiful. Um, I'm pretty sure these are still sold. She also has a green pair, which I kind of want to get. Um, she just literally knows it every single time. And the best part about this like newer version is that they now have an elastic in the back, which makes them so much comf more comfortable. Um, because the other ones I had to get tailored because they were a little bit big around the waist, but these fit literally so perfect and snug. And oh my god, the fit is just immaculate. <laughs> so go support Amy because she's really great at making clothes and she's so sweet. So it took me forever to find a black pair of white legs that fit me perfectly, but these from Bershka are absolutely it. Pretty sure they also have these in other colors, so I definitely want to look at them and maybe get them. Um, but yeah, they just fit really nice around the waist, not too tight, not too loose. Um, they're the perfect length for me. They're even a little bit shorter than the Fuchsia Shaw ones, but I don't mind it. Um, it just hits my shoe, which is like perfect. Must have. I recently got these. If you watched my fall clothing haul, it was like a non-sponsored clothing haul then you would have seen these um so i'm just gonna link them again for you but i'm gonna be wearing these so much <laughs> okay and then lastly for the pants category i want to show you some sweatpants these are again from pangaya um i own a lot of sweatpants but they're like my favorite go-to brand for sweats and i kind of want to get them in some more like basic colors because right now i have this green, I have a lighter green and a yellow. I would love to get like black and white and beige and stuff. But yeah, they are a more expensive brand, but they're more sustainable and ethical and stuff like that, which is great. And their fit just, I don't know how they do it. It's unisex, um, so it does fit more oversized, but I love that. So I'm wearing an extra small and their sweats are just amazing. But obviously you don't necessarily have to get sweats from them. Um, if I remember, I might link some other brands or sweatpants down below, but their sweats just are perfect, so I don't know. But I need sweatpants all year round. During the summer, it was more sweatshorts, but now it's always sweatpants because it's colder. These are not loungewear to me anymore, because um, I know some of you might think like, oh, why wasn't this in loungewear? It's because it's not to me. <laughs> like, this is just like an everyday piece for me now. I see my battery's dying, but I still want to continue, so we're moving on to dresses. This is a it's actually a men's oversized sweater um that i got i think in a medium or large 
Um, I'm loving sweater dresses for this season. Um, I think I'm going to look more into like men's oversized sweaters and then getting them in a large size because this is how they fit and I just think they look so pretty. Um, you know, just with some tights and boots and it's just like a super comfortable but really cute outfit. I don't really like super fitted dresses. I mean, it's really cute, but sometimes you just kind of don't have to worry about anything. I feel like when I wear something fitted, I'm more cautious. I'm like, oh, do I need to hold in my stomach? Which is like obviously super dumb, but like, I think most of you can relate to me on that. Hands yeah, just like, you know, nice and warm. I don't know. It's super cute. Yeah, I just have to change my battery so the angle might have changed. But this is another dress I've been loving. So this actually kind of like an oversized polo top from weekday. Um, I'm pretty sure I just got this in an extra small because I saw the model was wearing a small one. It's kind of fitted like a dress on her. Um, I'm, oh my god, this is just so beautiful. I'm not the one to really wear stripes, but I think something about this is just really beautiful. And I got so many questions on it on my Instagram. Posted a photo in it and I just think this looks really cute with some boots and... Again, it's just comfortable because it's like loose and I really enjoyed that with dresses. Okay, so I have left to show our some like jackets and coats. So I thought I would just wear an all black outfit to show you. Um, this is the first blazer I've been obsessed with. You would have seen this on my Instagram and in my fall clipping haul. This is a full leather blazer from Zara. Very inexpensive. The fit is beautiful and I'm going to wear this so much. I love that this isn't just a blazer, but I can pretty much wear this as a jacket as well right now because it's not crazy cold. Um, if I wear like a hoodie or a sweater underneath this, I can get away with it. So, it's the first blazer. I have a couple to show you and one cardigan, so get ready. So, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen this cardigan a couple of times. I forgot the exact name. What is it? Blanca. I got it gifted to me from Reliquia because um, they like sent me some jewelry and then they I also picked out this cardigan it is a bit more on the expensive side but this is like the most beautiful cardigan I've ever owned um, I love wearing this with just some jeans and boots and like a tank top um, it's like nice for layering and I just think this color is so beautiful like green is just such a gorgeous color for fall um, so if you you know feel like you would wear this a lot and you like green then I would 100% recommend investing in it or like splurging on it um i'm gonna see if i can maybe find something similar that's not as expensive and i'll link it down below if i can but this cardigan literally the only cardigan i'll wear like also just the fit of this i feel like cardigans with a fit like this even if it's not green are just really nice um for layering so next up i have this blazer from asos it's kind of more of like um cappuccino brown like a latte brown it's also a bit more rosy i don't know like a mauve brown i guess um i as you can tell i love the oversized fit all my blazers are oversized it's just a good blazer good color um i mean i don't have to show you all the colors that i have but i am gonna do it anyways because these are gonna be worn so much this season i've always loved blazers but i feel like now i'm really just like obsessed with them especially now that i know exactly what fit looks best on me which is oversized i'm quickly just gonna go through three other colors so this one is a cream i've had this for a while it's from monkey I'm pretty sure this wasn't supposed to be oversized, but I just have it in a medium. Beautiful. Again, cream with dark brown. And then, oh, you can kind of tell, but this is just a basic black. If you're getting any blazer, get a basic black one. I feel like you can never go wrong with that. Um, this is, again, from Monkey. Same one as a cream one in a medium. And then this last one is a dark brown one, which I recently got from Bershka. Um, I again got this in a medium. I think this fit is really beautiful. And this would even look cute with what I'm wearing right now. So I'm wearing like leggings. I would obviously wear maybe like a sweater or something. Um, but this with sneakers and leggings and like a sweater is like honestly such a cute outfit. And I think I'm gonna wear that to school. <laughs> my mirror's right there, so I'm looking at myself right now. This is probably my most beautiful fitting blazer, I think. Okay, so now I want to show you jackets. I don't think this one's going to fully be on camera, but I don't feel like changing the angle again. This is a trench coat I recently got on ASOS. It's from uh, Mango. You guys know what trench coats look like. So it looks like. So I like to actually tie this. I love wearing trench coats with hoodies. I don't know why. I like when the hood, hood is like 
out. <laughs> um, but this one's nice because it has this like thing in the back, which just gives you a bit more shape. And this one looks like when you tie it or you just wear it open. Um, I oh my god, I used to never own a trench coat, and now that I have one, I'm obsessed with it. So I think trench coats are great for fall. This jacket, I think I've had this for probably two years already. Um, it's my most worn jacket ever or coat. It's from Pretty Little Thing. It's their like teddy jacket, teddy coat, kind of like the dupe for the IMG01. Got this two years ago. It was super cheap and I still love this. I still wear this almost every single day. I don't know why this is just so good. They still sell it. I'm going to link it obviously. I feel like everyone needs this. I don't know why, but I just love it so much. And it's just so easy. The pockets are really big. It's really nice and warm. Like if I just don't know what jacket to pair with my outfit, I just do this one because it goes with everything. So then lastly, I think an oversized denim jacket is also great, especially a black one. Honestly, any wash would do. This one is from Future Shaw. I love how this one fits. I'm pretty sure this is a medium. Um, this is great because I can wear like hoodies underneath this. I can wear this with a dress. Um, the length is perfect. It's kind of the same length as the teddy coat, which is why I love it so much, I think. This would also just be cute if you find like a vintage one, I think. Anything that kind of looks more vintage, more oversized, like it's not necessarily made for you specifically, I think looks cool. I hope that makes any sense. <laughs> okay, so lastly, I want to talk about shoes and accessories. Obviously, a pair of black platform boots are a must for this season i invested in the prada boots um i talk about them way too much they look like this they are my the love of my life i've never owned a shoe this beautiful and i'm never going to get rid of them but if you can't afford them or you don't want to spend that much money these oh, these doc martens have been my go-to for the past couple of years these are the Jadens with the zip. I also have the Chelsea boots, but I have to say they're not that comfortable. I'm probably going to sell them, but these are great. They're awful to wear in, but as soon as you do, like the leather now is so soft that these do not hurt my feet anymore. Besides that, there's a couple of shoes that I want to get for fall. So there's a pair of Jordans coming out. I think they're called Dark Mocha or something. I'll put a picture on the screen. I think they're really beautiful. Um, and again, they're brown, so it's like my aesthetic. There's also another pair of Nikes coming out. I forgot the exact name, but again, I'll put a photo on the screen. Um, I don't really have much to show you shoe-wise because I still am looking at what I want to get for fall, winter. But at least those two. I wear sneakers a lot, so those are just like great. I have these, but they're open, so they're not the perfect sneaker for fall and like rainy weather. Oh, and I want to get some Jordan. I think it's Jordan 4. And they, they're white with green, so I'll put a picture on the screen as well. Like I said, I've been loving green, so I also want to get those. So I guess those three are on my wish list, and I'm going to try to get all three of them. So yeah, that's shoe-wise. And then for accessories or like bags, the only thing I would say is a staple is just a basic black shoulder bag. Besides that, obviously things like brown and like other colors and prints are great, but they're definitely more trendy. So if you really just want something that's going to work with every outfit, a black shoulder bag is great. And I have three three options for you that i can show so this one is from monkey i love the kind of like 90s fit or like vintage fit of these they remind me of the by far one which i wanted to get but then i saw this and i was like i'm just gonna get this one um this one is from by far they don't sell this specific one anymore but this is just a basic black mini shoulder bag with gold hardware and it's leather can never go wrong with these and then I also have this one from Monkey, which is more of like a nylon. If you don't want to pay the, for the Prada one, um, then this one's great. And it fits a lot, which I like. Um, so, yeah, a basic back shoulder bag. Honestly, the only thing you need. And besides that, obviously, you can get some more trendy ones. But I feel like that is never going to go out of style. I think I've been filming for probably an hour just talking and like I don't even know what to say anymore. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you kind of like this format, how I would just, I was just talking. I was actually thinking of sitting down and then putting clips of me wearing the stuff on the side. I feel like this would just be easier because um, I can just 
get my thoughts out right away so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did and of course subscribe also turn on my post notifications so that you are notified every time i upload a video and follow me on my instagram because i post on there every single day and you can see more of like my style and my fashion and like my everyday fits so make sure you do that thank you so much for watching i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video